Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. Christine is off, and we begin with some two million New Yorkers potentially facing a big rent increase. Many still struggling from the economic pain of the pandemic. CBS 2's Nick Calloway on the preliminary vote and reaction from tenants and owners. The vote means rent prices are likely headed one way up. Motion passes by a vote of five to four. The Rent Guidelines Board held its meeting virtually. The preliminary vote approved a proposal that would allow rent increases on one year leases by between two and four percent, and on two year leases from four to six percent. The average rent for a stabilized apartment is $1,400 a month. That means rent hikes up to $56 a month on a one year lease or $84 a month on a two year lease. Tenant advocates warned that rent increases increases will target the city's most vulnerable. How are we okay increasing rents when 26% of people living in, rents, in, in the rent stabilized housing that we're proposing to increase them pay more than 50% of their income in rent? But those representing property owners say they're just trying to keep up with soaring energy costs and inflation. We need to authorize a rent increase that keeps up with these costs so housing, housing providers have the ability to maintain their buildings and make sure that the buildings are safe. Property owner Chris Athenaos in Baybridge, Brooklyn, says he just wants a fair increase. Property owners really suffered during COVID. We had a lot of vacancies, a lot of people who skipped out of their apartments, didn't pay the rent. We were not uh, compensated for that. But renters say they're already being squeezed enough. Esteban Heron with the Crown Heights Tenant Union has lived in a rent-stabilized apartment for nine years and says a 6% spike in rent means less money for other essentials. You know, I'm on a fixed income. Groceries are more expensive now, so it would mean less food. It would mean less transportation, uh, just less of everything. The Rent Guidelines Board will hold public meetings in the coming weeks before a final vote in June. In Harlem, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. And the Legal Aid Society condemning tonight's vote, asking the Rent Guidelines Board to change course and instead freeze the rent.